How to set up shipping rates on Square. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up shipping rates on Square. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and Caligo to squareapp.com. And if you haven't signed up for Square yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Square, it is a financial technology company that offers range of services and products to facilitate seamless payment processing and business management, primarily targeting small and medium-sized businesses in which the Square payment platform integrates seamlessly with popular point-of-sale software and online store providers, allowing businesses to minimize disruption in their day-to-day -day operations. And some of the features that this platform provides, including payment processing, Square Terminal, Square for Restaurants, Square Register, Square Strand, and even Square Market. And now that we know the background info about this platform, to access this platform, you can proceed by clicking this Get Started button, or you can avail some of the plan that they offer. By clicking this pricing option, below here, it will show you some of the plan that they offer, including the free plan, the plus and the premium plan. And it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. But in those options, I'm going to choose the free plan. And after that, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information. Then you will be directed on this dashboard. So this is what the dashboard looks like of Square platform. In which you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, including home, online, items, orders, transaction, customers, and many more, in which under the home, it will show you your total balances and other insights, including your net sales and even your revenue. However, to start setting up your shipping rates on Square, just click the settings option below here, then proceed by clicking account and settings. Then you will be directed on this page, in which the next thing that you need to do is to click this fulfillment button and it will show you the two options such as pickup and delivery and shipment. And by choosing pickup, it refers to customers coming to the business location to retrieve their order either inside the store or curbside. While by choosing shipment, it refers to the business shipping the order to the customer's location, typically through a shipping carrier. And in those options, I'm going to choose the shipment. Then you will be directed in here in which it will show you that you can create labels through Square so that you can streamline your label workflow across Square services. But on this point, we're just going to proceed under Retail Shipping Rate Profiles, in which below here we can create shipping profiles that can be applied to orders based on the customer's location. And now to proceed, just click Add New Profile button below here. And after that from here, under New Shipping Rate Profile, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information starting from the profile name in which you can add a name that would help you identify the regions included in this profile. But for instance, I'm going to enter here shipping rates. Then below, you could also select a countries to add to your shipping profile, or the countries that can be only assigned to your one profile. So let's say I'm going to choose United States, rest of the world, Afghanistan, and Algeria. Then just click done on the top panel, and it will show you below here that you have now successfully add the countries that you want to ship to your products. And after selecting a country, the next thing that you need to do is to add the rates for the countries that you've selected. And rates are applied to all items. New items are included automatically. So from here, all you need to do is to fill out the required field, including the name of this rate. So let's say I'm going to enter here default. Well, the type of rate, you could choose either flat rate, free shipping, or based on order total in which by choosing flat rate, all you need to do is to enter the shipping fee that is fixed in here. So basically, this option charges customers a single fee based on the shipping service that's selected. And the rate is flat because the price of shipping is not connected to the weight, size, or shape of the items being shipped. Well, on the other hand, by choosing the free shipping, this option offers free shipping to customers based on certain criteria such as order weight, order price, or for all orders. So let's say I'm going to enter here the minimum order of $500. And when a customer try to purchase that amount, they will get a free shipping. 
while on the other type, by choosing based on order total, this option charges customers a shipping fee based on the total price of the order. So multiple ranges can be created to offer shipping discounts based on the order total. For example, a business may charge a lower shipping fee for orders over a certain dollar amount. So basically, you can simply define shipping fees which vary based on the order total by entering the end range, shipping fee, start range, and also the shipping fee in here. And if you also want to add row, kindly click this one and also proceed by filling out all of the required information as well. But in those type, I'm just going to choose the flat rate. And after that, just click done on the top panel. And if you're now done setting up your new shipping rate profile, just click the save button on the top right corner. And you will be directed in here in which it will show you that shipping profile has now been saved. And if you also want to create labels through Square, just click this get started button. Then from here, all you need to do is to follow all of this step by step process. Then after that, you'll now be able to print labels from your Square dashboard. And aside from shipment settings, you could also set up your account on square.com by clicking this arrow right here. It will show you a variety of steps that you need to complete in order to set up your account, such as to customize receipt, set up your taxes, add a location, and explore software. And by clicking custom receipts, you will be directed on this page in which from here it will show you a variety of options that you could start navigating and editing tools that you can choose starting from adding a picture, choosing a color, and other style of your receipts. And you could also customize here the content of your receipts, including to add your social media account and other details. And aside from customizing receipts, you could also set up your taxes right here in which the sales tax that you created in Square Dashboard will sync to all devices that sign into this account. Now going back to the shipping section, from here it will show you the shipping rates that you've just added. And if you also want to add new profile or new shipping rates, just click this add new profile button. And aside from that, if you also want to know about details on how to set up real-time shipping with Square Online, you could also proceed on this link right here in which it will show you some of the requirements in order to set up real-time shipping rates with Square Online, such as to configure your carrier accounts, like one of these real-time shipping carriers below. However, those carrier USB sellers have access to master accounts with USPS and DHL that offer discounted shipping rates for Square Online. And aside from that, to also set up your shipping rates, you can also configure your shipping boxes and this is what it looks like, in which from here you can simply create your default box size, which is used to determine the size and weight of the package being shipped. But in order to see all of this option under the shipment or fulfillment, you must have successfully completed to set up your account on Square. In order to configure your carrier's account and also your shipping boxes. So that is just basically how you can set up shipping rates on Square. Thank you.